Lewis. This future Royals team will have a similar problem that we're facing in that they will have solid starting pitching or solid anchormen like myself that to carry a respectable seven mile distance only to have it blown by drunk ass middle relievers. I pad look, Lewis, I paddle for seven miles. Okay, I've been paddling for seven miles. You can't paddle for one. And what's the deal here, guys? I went seven miles and only hit one or two rocks. And I guarantee you, there were a ton of rocks in these last seven miles. When you guys hit the eighth mile and try to take us through one mile, you seem to run into about, oh, I don't know, five or six rocks. And there's only so many rocks a canoe can hit before it's sunk. And then we lose. That's why you try not to hit rocks. Because when you know that we have a crew that's not able to patch up the holes, you try harder not to hit rocks in the river. Guys, you got to understand. There's only so many rocks that there are around. There's ways to navigate around the rocks if you just worked on it or if you had natural more talent. I go seven miles hitting, passing tons of rocks, by the way, and I managed to only hit one or two of them. And you end up, for some reason, hitting every damn rock in the damn mile. And I guarantee you that we've passed a ton of rocks in the last seven miles. If you guys could even maybe only hit one rock, even two rocks, maybe we could get to the ninth mile as to where Jack would take care of it. It's doing real good. See, Jack's fine, guys. Lewis, if these guys were paddling all seven miles, the canoe would be decimated. There wouldn't even be a canoe to paddle anymore because we'd hit so many damn rocks. I hit one or two damn rocks. You guys paddle one mile and you hit every damn rock in the river. Because you're dumb asses. It's so frustrating, guys, because no matter how good I paddle in those seven miles leading up to the one, you guys have to paddle. It doesn't matter. Because some way, you guys are going to hit enough rocks to get enough holes in our canoe that we sink for the day. We lose. But something tells me not only are you guys probably going to hit every damn rock in the river? You're probably also not going to give half a rip, right? Oh, we're going to lose anyway. Oh, the crew sucks anyway. The expedition's lost anyway. There's never a way we're going to make it to the coast or get a title for our division because our canoe and crew sucks anyway. That's absolutely bullshit, guys. You do the best with what you have. And if this canoe's not working properly, we find a way to fix it. Or you know what happens, guys? Well, you'll probably get signed or retained by this expedition because of our cheap-ass owner, Thomas Jefferson, and whatever dumbass hired Lewis to be in charge. So you guys will probably still stay on the team. So where does that argument get me? Just stay on the expedition. You know, if you're, if you're losing and you're not doing your jobs here in the canoe, on the crew, or on the river, that means that you're probably going to be kept on the team. Because as long as expectations are really low, guys, the one day that you actually do your jobs, everybody's going to be so blown away that they'll actually be impressed by the team. Because if you were doing a good job all the time, then it would be expected for you to be good, right? And you can't be amazing. So you just have to keep expectations low. It's all about the bottom line. It's absolute crap. If we got a better crew, we'd be there real fast already. We'd win. The expedition would be a complete success. And it would generate more revenue in the long run. So this bottom line cheap owner crap is pissing me off. And you guys should be insulted that they thought you guys were going to lose. And that's the reason they hired you for this crew. Because... I guarantee you, I'm being paid very well to be on this expedition. But I also happen to like this expedition. That's right, I've grown attached. I'm kind of a fan. But you know what's going to happen, guys? The few talented members on this crew 
if you guys keep up this piss poor performance, are actually going to leave and go to the big bucks. By the time we got to Seattle, the freaking Mariners might pay me more. And I might have to join their squad. Not until my contract's up here. And they won't try to re-sign me, guys, because I do my job. Probably try to re-sign all you clowns. All you guys that hit every damn rock in the river. When you only have to paddle one mile of it. <laughs>